Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Let A and B be sets. And suppose A is finite. Then, there exists a bijection from A to B. If and only if B is finite and the number of elements in A and the number of elements in B are equal. So, before we get into the proof, let's get some context. First of all, what do we mean by a finite set? Well, here's how we can describe it. For our purposes, we're going to say that the natural numbers includes zero. And for each natural number n, we define the following set. We define the set i n to be the set of all positive integers less than or equal to n, where the positive integers are just the natural numbers not including zero. Okay, now let's talk about what we mean by a finite set. Given any set A, we say that A is finite if there exists a natural number n, such that there exists a bijection from i n to A. And it turns out that this natural number n, which satisfies this condition, is unique, right? It's the only natural number such that we could have a bijection from this set to A. Right, so every finite set can be assigned to a unique natural number, which satisfies this condition. And we call this natural number the number of elements in A, and we denote it like this. So yeah, this is our notion of a finite set. Next, I would like to just list two properties involving bijections. It turns out, given any two sets A and B, if there exists a bijection from A to B, then there exists a bijection from B to A. And given three sets, A, B, and C, if there exists a bijection from A to B, and there exists a bijection from B to C, then there exists a bijection from A to C. Okay, so now let's get into proving the theorem. To start out the proof, let's give ourselves two sets, A and B, and let's suppose A is finite. Now, since A is finite, we know that A is assigned to a unique natural number n, which satisfies this condition. And we'll call that natural number n, and we'll denote it like this. In other words, n is the unique natural number which satisfies this condition, right? There exists a bijection from i n to A. Okay, now let's focus on proving this statement. Right, we're trying to prove this is true if and only if this is true. And since we're trying to prove a statement containing if and only if, what we can do is we could prove if this is true, then this is true. And then we can prove if this is true, then this is true. Let's start by proving if this is true, then this is true. To do so, suppose this is true. Now, by our second fact regarding bijections, we see that there's a bijection from i n to a, and there exists a bijection from a to b. Therefore, there exists a bijection from i n to b. But now we see that b is finite, because if we take the a in our definition here to be b, well, we see that there exists a natural number which satisfies this condition, namely n. And we know that this natural number is going to be the only natural number which satisfies this condition. So we denote this natural number n as the number elements in B, just like this. But n is also equal to the number of elements in A. So what we have deduced here is that B is finite, and the number of elements in A is equal to the number of elements in B. And that is exactly what we wanted to prove. So we have proven if this is true, then this is true. Now let's prove if this is true, then this is true. And to do so, let's suppose that this is true. Well, since the number of elements in A is equal to the number of elements in B, and the number of elements in A is equal to n, it follows that the number of elements in B is equal to n. Right? And we know that this is another way of saying that n is the unique natural number which satisfies this condition. So really, there's a bijection from i n to b. But then, since there's a bijection from i n to a, we can flip these two around to say that there's a bijection from a to i n. 
And now, using our second fact regarding bijections, since there's a bijection from A to IN, and there's a bijection from IN to B, it follows that there's a bijection from A to B. So there's a bijection from A to B, which is exactly what we wanted to prove. So we have proven if this is true, then this is true. And so we have proven both directions of the if and only if, which means we've proven the entire statement. And that's exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.